Wildlife this morning is Jennifer Jackson from Idaho Fish and Game, and today we are taking a look at how you and wildlife can stay safe during your Christmas travels this year. Well, thank you very much for stopping by this morning. Uh, first off, some kind of cold hard numbers. What are this? What does the, the statistics say about animal accidents over uh, on Idaho roads? Well, when you're looking nationwide, we're talking about over a million deer, one and a half million deer are killed uh, nationwide, and that results in over a billion dollars worth of damage to vehicles and other property. Locally, if you uh, you know if you look at I-15, uh, the stretch uh, to Black Rock, um, we would lose oh about 30 deer a year on that stretch prior to the putting up of the fence that we have there now. On Highway 30, it's more like 120 deer okay. per year, but. The thing you have to remember about that statistic is for every deer you see lying on the side of the road, there's at least one other you don't see that was hit and wandered off to die. So okay. actually the percentages are probably higher than that. It almost be double. Right. We're actually undercounting a bit. And then if you're looking at a female that's lying on the side of the road, she's likely carrying one or two fawns this time of year. Um, and so you can even extrapolate that number okay. a little higher. So it actually has more of an impact than you would think. How do you protect yourself, I guess, when you're taking to the roads over Christmas and the holidays and whatnot? Well, well, deer are on the move. They're on the move too, just like we are. So they're coming down to uh, lower levels, elevations, uh, part of their migratory routes. And so they're gonna be around roads more. You might even see them coming into your neighborhoods more if you're in the Gibson Jack area or Mink Creek area or Buckskin so the area. the outlying areas. The outlying yeah. areas. Okay. And so you need to remember that for First off, second, really be wary. Watch both sides of the road, the sides of the road, as well as what's in front of you when you're driving, especially in the early morning hours or early evening hours when deer are coming out to feed or so on the sunrise, move. Sunrise, sunset. Sunrise, area. sunset. Okay. And of course, you know, deer in the middle of the night too. When deer are hard to see, you want to be extra wary. Um, and you want to remember too that where you see one deer, there's likely other deer that are going to follow. So don't get overly confident if you pass a couple of deer and think you're think in the clear. The okay. <laughs> there might be a few more. Okay. Another thing too, people need to remember is. When you set up artificial feeding for deer, sometimes you can lure them across roadways to your site or maybe into areas that they're congregated and around traffic. So it's not always a good idea to feed deer uh, this time of year for that reason as well. Okay, and then I was, one thing I've always seen is the deer whistles. I've seen those on plenty of trucks, cars, and whatnot. Do things like that and the kind of, and not necessarily novelty, but kind of... You know, tools I, like that, do those even work? You know, I, I guess everything and anything's worth a try. I don't know there's really a lot of research out there that says that really works. I think your best bet is to slow down, be wary, know those areas where deer congregate or are, are often hit, and you know where they are because you see those deers, those deer hit and lying on the side of the road. Pay attention to deer signs that you might see. Those that are put up by ITD, flashing lights and so forth. And uh, if, you d if you do that and just pay extra careful attention, you're not going to reduce all accidents or stop all accidents, but hopefully you can bring the number down. It's really important for your safety as well as the safety of the deer. All right. Well, thank you very much for stopping by this morning. Thank you.